times I didn't think I'd get through. I wouldn't wish you'd tell me worst enemy, what happened to me and my family. It's not very really nice to at home. In fact, I'm ready for going to bed, just to get it all over with. Once it's all over and done with, that's it. It just hurts having to stop in the house. It's a thing we've never done. No Year's Eve, all the time we've known each other, even when we were courting. No Year's Eve, all us out. Just, to be honest, you can't describe what it feels like after you're used to going out. I mean, really, it's one day a year what we really both enjoy. And it's just not what happened this year. But it's just a case we've got to get in and bear it. If we did go out, we'd be in no snap on table next week for kids. While we've been on strike, we were on £25 a week, which is for my wife and two children. And out of that, we've always felt to buy. How have you managed? Rough. <laughs> Rough. You have to go on, both the kids, you have to look around, you know, at supermarkets and that, and just look at cheapest stuff you can get. And bits like biscuits and stuff like that, you just don't buy, you can't, you can't afford it. And clothes, you just go out second hand market, look around, see what you can get for them. And that's about it. Did you start selling things? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had a gold bracelet and a gold wishbone ring and the little girl, she was four months old and she needed rusk on a night and I didn't have no money so we went down Brummett's, this is a jewellery shop down Emsel and uh, he gave me £15 for the bracelet so I went out then and bought rusk and food for the kids, well I thought well <clears throat> better off with food in the bellies and some on my hand. This pain, but it's a load of nonsense. This pain every day a week. This pain every day while we're on strike. This pain, but it's, it's nonsense. Okay, we've got over Christmas. Kids have had a decent Christmas. What's it going to be like next Christmas? If we're still out then. If we get over this next three months, sunny weather's here. I don't think men who are out on strike will go back to work until we get. I believe it, and if you vote for it and you've, already, you've put your, you know, your name to summit, you stand by that decision. I mean, at one time, all this here, as you look round, it was all flat. And what they've done, they've dug underneath the rubbish <laughs> and they've got to the burnt ashes. keen on it, I've got blisters on my hand and uh, my hands never get blisters on them. We have been to other places where we've been trying to make a bit of pocket money. I mean, as you know, we don't get very much on social. So what we've been doing, we've been selling it. Doing this, you're bending some rules and arguably breaking or almost breaking some laws. How do you feel about that? Uh, how can you define to a kid, a five-year-old, that there's going to be no food on plate when you've got the, may the ways and means of going out and earning some money? You still look at it like that. I mean, okay. If it comes to a push, I mean, I'm not a lawbreaker, I never have been. I've never been in trouble in my life with police, as yet. I mean, it's time for the dispute to go on and we probably might get caught getting a bit of coal off some land where we shouldn't be. But there's always that possibility that we've got to check that. We've got to go for it to get some money for us kids. If we didn't, they'd be starving. I'm prepared to break law up to a point. Not up to a point where I'm going to get in serious trouble, but up to a point where I can make a little bit of money for my wife. Kids. Every week we come round to my mum and dad's, round here like, and they always put us a meal on. on not all of us, but it's not as though it's an accepted thing what we do, generally do. But during strike, 
my mum and dad's helped us out with Sunday dinner, <laughs> which has been one good hot meal a week, really. We've been able, they've gone to town on us. They're off for Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way we've been able to manage at all. I mean, they've been a good, been good to us. The I mean, only thing we don't do is discuss the strike. And I will not have it discussed in this house. Because they're too hot headed. Yeah. It causes problems. <laughs> when me and my brother get together, we have a good ding dong. And then my dad chips in with his with. And then mum comes in then as referee, sees. And then that's it then. We all know how far to go here. Once we get too far, that's it, it all stops. During the war, this country pulled together and between Scargill and Maggie Thatcher, they've split the country wide open. And that's my opinion of them. They're just both egotistical and they won't give way. I feel that there are men, and the majority of men, who at this time are wanting to go back to work. That's what I feel about it. What? Well, Eat your dinner. My dad's got his own opinion about it, I mean. Ian, yeah, do you think Mum and Dad could ever persuade you to go back if you actually thought it was not the right thing? No. No, no way. I have my we own mind. We wouldn't try and to persuade won't... him. They're no. his beliefs. And we respect them. The fact that I don't agree with the strike doesn't affect Ian. Daddy. As I said before, we're in, we have our own opinions and that's it. We voice them and then that's it. End of it. Nobody would ever pressure me into wanting to go back. I'm one of these. If somebody tells me to do something, I, I, I just won't do it. And plus, I mean, it sounds like my mum's just said. There's no way with my mum, as it is, put it bluntly, is put a nose in and say, look, you're going back to work. There's no way that mum would do that. But it's I not did family to do it. Once, I asked you to stop picketing. Yeah. And you did. That's right. Yeah. yeah. That's right. That's the only time mum's ever really said that. She said, stop with picketing. And that was just when our grief came on. When the violence started, I asked Ian to stop picketing. I don't, I don't think we asked him to stop picketing. I did. Well, you did, no. but I didn't. I told him. I, I, I give him an ultimatum and he'll, he'll, he'll bear me out what I'm going to say. I told him he either packed the picketing in and thought more about his wife and kids or he stopped coming to my house. It's quite Never true. Never talked like this, but that's what I told him. It's quite true, that, but even though my dad just said that, I was getting ready for packing it in anyway. You keep hearing all this on telly about we're fighting for us kids' jobs. I dare say if you've got anybody on their own and they were truthful about it, they don't want their kids to go into it. I would want my lads to go into it. When you're saying that, I can understand people saying we're fighting for industry. You took Frickly Pit and Kirby Pit from round here and there's no old. If there's no other alternative, then I'll probably have to let him go down. Well, that's why you went well, out, mate. That's it. There's no alternative. There were no other jobs for me when I left school. It was really, it was really a case of pit. Which, I mean, I was lucky I got an apprenticeship. Or being on door. The discussions have once again raised hopes that negotiations on the pit strike may restart. When they first started saying that the water talks on, everybody thought we were going to be back at work. And obviously it got dashed. So I was a bit upset like, because we haven't got back to work and haven't talked properly. Karen's managed to get temporary work on an industrial estate. It pays £75 a week. It's not a bad job, right? You know, it's all right. At first, when I used to come to work, I used to worry about it all the time, you know. And I used to wait for the phone going. You know, I'm just going to get a phone call, it's going to be that right, you know. But uh, I've got used to it. I would still worry it back in my mind, but not as much as I used to, you know. I thought at home. <laughs> Din -din. <sighs> Obviously, you know she's out at work like. She's fetching money in, but to this times when I am fed up, I wish she was at home. Get home for me. Wait a minute. 
I know. It's to what? It's it's not my not my ball game. Stopping in house all day. I'd sooner be out doing something potting about. The union is the community. They look after us. And obviously, jobs as well. So, since 26, union has been a part of this this village. They've built, well, you can more or less say that union has built village up. If you know what I mean. And that's why the union can command the kind of loyalty that it's commanded for the last 12 months. Oh, yes. Anything. I won't say anything. Up to a point, the only can tell us what to do. I mean, everybody's got their own opinion of what they're going to do and what they aren't going to do. So obviously, it's up to the own person, really. But uh, the only I've got a stronghold. There's no getting away from it. The only it is, well, it is. It's community. We help them. They help us. They put pounds in. We take pounds out. And it's why you would be very loath to act in any way contrary to the union's wishes? Up to a point, yeah. Uh, how can I put it? I mean, you know, obviously I've backed union for so long, so long, more than right now. But up to a point, it gets to a point where a person thinks which comes first. I mean, I've managed up to now, but at the moment, next three or four weeks, I'm... Uh, I was thinking about going back against you, which you learned, because I'll be letting me send plus the community as well, if you know what I mean. People might say, I'm lucky my wife's working, but I still have a lot of bills I've got to fork out for now. A 12 month on strike, I've given my best. I've stopped out solid for 12 months, mate. 12 months is a long time. I hoped after that and then, well, personally, I've had enough. I am sickened off. I'm ready for going back. If we're not back in, say, two or three weeks, then I'll probably be thinking about going back. If I've got enough courage to go back. Obviously, I want to take into consideration my family first. That'll, that'll prey on my mind first Papa. before I don't make my decision. Papa. strike is over. After a three-hour special delegate meeting in London, the vote was 98 to 91 for a return to work on Tuesday. The union wants negotiations at local level on an amnesty for miners sacked during the strike. What's your reaction? What a relief. 12 months on strike and it's about time we got back now, I think. It's, uh, it's gone on too long. But he's saying that we're going back really on what we came out on. So we haven't gained no really apart from in Yorkshire, we had solidarity in men. But uh, before we do go back, we want to make sure that we are fighting for these lads' jobs. Who's been arrested on some silly charges. I mean, obviously, there's some charges where the union really, in my opinion, they can't step in. For simple reasons, they are cr proper criminal charges. I mean, such as pinching coal, that's not a criminal charge. You've got to keep your family as well. Do you think you've been beaten? No. No, I don't think we have been beaten. Up to a point we've been beaten, yeah. We've been pushed back to work. Or oh, some people have. But he's saying, come out for a policy what we thought would hate. And it, is, it still is right, in my opinion. What's be better for country if we were in work instead of being on the own? So obviously you've, you've got to fight for your job. Which I did do, and I've done for the last 12 months. And you'd be prepared to again? <laughs> I believe in the policies about fighting for jobs. Now, if it did come to a crunch and they did start shooting pits left, right and centre, obviously I'd come straight back out on strike again to fight for me, me makes his jobs. But 12 months on strike, it's, it's a bit of a funny question at the moment. I mean, uh, 12 months after I'm doing now, then going back to work for a couple of weeks and being called back out on strike, I think uh, feelings are run a bit high for me personally.
I mean, you know, this last fortnight, three a week, I've been here, see this, thought of coming back to work. I'm glad that we have gone back to work as a union, and not in spits and spats. I'm proud of myself personally that I've stuck it out until the union has told us to go back. If I'd have gone back before, I mean, obviously, I'd have let my brother down, and I'd have let a lot more people down as well. Do you think it's all over now? No. I'm more vulnerable than what Ian is because he works at Frickley. I work at Frickley, but I work in a different seam. And the seam that I work in, we know that we've only got five years now. I'm 21, 22, I'll be after a job. <laughs> I'll get a thousand pound redundancy, and that's it. There's no chance of me getting another job. I'd have to look to another country and try and get one there. If I couldn't get one there, well, it's 50 odd year on double. Just briefly, how do you think it will feel having money again? Superb. To walk down the street with about a fiver or a tenner in my pocket, it would be like having a million pounds in my pocket. What was the first thing you spent money on at the end of the strike? Uh, obviously, I went out and I cleared one or two bills off. And then my next thing then was to get this. I went out, saw my bank manager. He's a fine guy. He lent me the money to get this, because I needed transport anyway. It's a bit of a luxury, isn't it? No, not really. I've always had a car, you see. But me losing my car through all the strike, it was like taking an arm and a leg off me, so I wanted a car back. How much money have you got for luxuries, nights out, that sort of thing? Well, Ian thinks we've got more than one. Oh. You know, I just chucks it about. How long do you think it'll be before you're completely straight with money? If Karen keeps her job, which we hope she's going to do from now till Christmas, hopefully by around about this time next year, we should be more or less straight now with everybody. Are you and her seeing eye to eye on money at the moment? No, not at the moment. I think what it is, Karen's fetching more home than me. And I don't like it. If you know what I mean. I mean, all the way through strike, or back end of strike, she kept me. And now, with me fetching less money on than her, it's, it, don't see, it don't seem right, you know what I mean? It, uh, it makes me feel as though my job it's saying is a good job. It's, well, supposed to be a secure job, but the money at the moment's not there. So you, you think he's overspending? I think he is, yeah. I mean, I'd rather get the house done. I mean, we've started, but we're not finished. And I'd rather get the house done than go out. But he don't think like that. Three and two, 32. Five and four, 54. Go on, Doddy. Five and six, 56. Steady, go on. Five and four, 56. One and three, 55. Five, 55. No, I lost his driving. You've got to go out. I mean, if, if I'm going to do that, I might as well not live. For 12 months, I had no social life. I never went through the door, really, during strike. I mean, what we're doing here tonight is that's just wearing off steam, if you like. <laughs> we've had a week, we've got some money in his pocket. Let's go out and let's have a decent night out. Because we help me that. Let's go out and enjoy some.
fed up. Just no interest at all, man. It's getting too much now, nice, but you go there, you don't send out to nobody. It's just a waste of time. It's no good. We've had 12 months out in fresh air. That last 12 months, it cleared my lungs out. Just no interest at all. I'm, I'm disillusioned altogether with it. I don't want to work there no more. I've applied for several jobs now, and I'm waiting for interviews. As soon as I get them, they can have it. They can have the pit all together for me. It's just a waste of time. How have you been treated by management? In my personal opinion, I mean, they're looking for excuses, really, for you to just have a, what we call a rag up, which is to go home. They're trying, they're trying to push us all the time. They're on us back where before, obviously they're on us back up to a certain extent, but not what they are now. To me, they're trying to put salt into womb now. And how's the union of the pit reacted to that? Uh, obviously, I mean, the union it sent the distraught about it. They're not very happy at all about it. But, uh, what power has the union got? I mean, they've no power now. I mean, they can't turn around and say, right, lads, we'll all go on. Come on, let's get all off on and we'll sort it out. I mean, it's just a waste of time, that, because they've got no power. They can't hold them to ransom like they could do before. I mean, I know it sounds rotten to say ransom. I mean, in some cases where we have gone on, we've got what we wanted in the end by actually stopping the pit. But I mean, now nah, there's no power at all. They can't turn around and say, right, lads, we're going on. I couldn't really be an housewife again, I don't think. I have my job too much to do. I forgot about what it was all like, you know, when I had my kids and that. I think you forget and there's just you, your kids, and that's it. But now, I mean, it's like your own independence as well as having your kids as well. So really, it's like having your cake and eating it, isn't it? So, um, I like it. Oh, not chucky. Yeah. Natalie, no! <laughs> After not having a break last year and having no money, this year we thought we'd go. Especially now she's working. She deserves a break as much as what I do. <laughs> Watch your face, you'll get it in your eyes. When I was at work, I felt as though I needed a holiday. So, you know, I've got this one. And the bloke at work offered me a caravan. We're only forty pounds, so I jumped at it. Kids and all, they you know enjoy it. Where's Dale? He's up there. He's all right. A bit quiet, like. Chance as good as the rest, isn't it? <laughs> if we just stopped it on. And worried about bills, we'd never get away. I mean, to keep worrying about paying for them. So we decided that what holiday pay she got, what little bit of holiday pay I got, that were it. We'd come away and that were it. Bills can wait. Now, you've actually bought a new car as well. The one or two things were going wrong with Volvo. So really, it was time to get shut rail, because it wouldn't start costing us money. Now she wanted to learn to drive again. So obviously, she wants, wanted a smaller car. She came up with the idea we'll go and get shut on it. Next thing I know, we were at a garage and got to sign it all up and that was it. She pays for it out of their money, straight out of mine. Karen, you're making a major contribution to the, the family finances. Does that make you feel any different towards Ian? Not towards Ian, no. I still love him. You know, if, if I wasn't bringing any money in at all. I mean, I, I felt the same all the way through, but, you know, he didn't. Because, I mean, the men are supposed to be the breadwinners, aren't they? But he, he didn't like it. But it hasn't changed my outlook on it. Are you surprised <laughs> that he seems to have accepted it? In a way, yeah. <laughs> so, I suppose, in a way, I think I've changed my mind now. From when I was during the state, I didn't like the idea of going out to work. But now we're both back at work. Her money now is really the main source of income. 
that doesn't sound like the traditional Yorkshire. There's a lot of traditions <laughs> been altered, though, aren't there? I mean, that's right, prove one thing that traditionally Yorkshire men are supposed to keep their wife. And obviously, a lot of Yorkshire women kept their husbands. Not went to so, work. I mean, a lot of tradition went straight out of women. <laughs> I don't believe in bloke wearing trousers or woman wearing trousers. If you're going to do that, there's going to be one or the other frightened to either make a decision or think about putting something to you. You've got to both sit down and talk about it. We'll just work as a team, won't we? Get so you can working. fetch your money on a Friday, will not we? Yeah, he fetches his, yeah. The simple it? reason is we know that it's a 12 month or two years' time or even three years' time. One or others, others' wages. If we put in bank, it'll just be sat there, earning money for us. So three, three or four years' time, we're going to be right well off. If things, well, off, well, we'll be comfortable. Why are you leaving after five days? Well, due to the fact that earlier on in week, with the terrible weather, raining and that, and to keep kids amused, we just take them into arcades, slot machines and that. So obviously, the money what we budgeted for went. So we're skint now. Ian still hasn't managed to find a new job. 